I'm back here filming at the Tobacco River Dam. You can see it over my shoulder here. Before we get this video started, I want to thank my new Patreons, Robert, Jonathan, Richard, and Peter. And for Richard for sending me a letter through the mail, I'll pop my P.O. box up on the screen right now. If anyone wants to send me anything there, let me get this camera turned around now though, and we'll take a look here at the Tobacco River Dam. Really windy, so hopefully you can still hear me pretty well. Looks like work is just about finished here though. We will go up there and check it out in a little while. But here we can see the entire site, the 150 ton crane up here, the Tobacco River flowing through the Tobacco River Dam. Looks like things are just starting to ice up over there on the side a little bit. And then down here to the south, we can also see down the Tobacco River. So, Let's head up here now and we'll take a little bit closer look as to the work that's going on. Coming up here in front of the Tobacco River Dam now, you can see all that water flowing over the top. And right now they're actually getting uh, a concrete truck in. They're getting ready to go ahead and pour the shaft. So the shaft is up here, right where that walkway used to go across. You can see the one over there. Spillway one has been filled in now. So they're waiting to get a little bit of concrete. You see the form's already in place up here that they're gonna go ahead and fill that in. Take a look over the top of the coffer dam over here real quick. You can see everything starting to ice up little bit of that water that is actually starting to come through there and freezing up on the weir spillway. Stop logs are still in place keeping the water from coming through uh, spillway number two here. And looking over here on the east side retaining wall, the sister wall pouring is looking like it's going pretty good. So it looks like they have just a couple more to go. Looks like they still have bulkheads in place on this one, and that has already been poured, so they got the tarps around it to keep it as warm as they can, so that concrete starts to set up. And then, looks like just a couple more pours here, and then the sister wall will be complete over here on the east side. We'll walk up here to the top get a shot up here real quick. I'm not gonna walk up here because they actually have uh, the heater tubing in here running to keep this warm. But we can see the coffer dam up here and I'll pick the camera up and you'll be able to see up there to the Tobacco River and how it's all froze. It is very windy up there. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the job site. Things are wrapping up here shortly. Great work going on here at the Tobacco River Dam. Pretty exciting to see the sister wall almost being complete. I'm gonna head back to the truck now, throw the drone up in the air, get a couple of those aerial views, and then maybe be back, hopefully able to watch them pour uh, the shaft full of concrete. I'm going to jump into some of the drone video now before we go ahead and see some of that concrete being poured in the shaft. I did stick around for that and that was actually pretty interesting to see. Uh, drone is really low right now, probably only 10, 20 feet in altitude. And the shot that I always get when I'm out there kind of coming right up behind the sill, we can see the job site and the riprap over on the right hand side, water being pumped over the top of that coffer dam and all of the water flowing through spillway one right now. Spillway two has the stop logs in the lowered position. You can see how things are actually starting to really ice up even behind this dam with the swift moving water though. And the guys up here on the right hand side looks like they're tying in some rebar. Um, they got to do that before they go ahead and put the bulkheads in place and then they can do another pour over there on the sister wall. The guy up there on the top is looking inside of that shaft. 
Um, that's actually the shaft that we watched them pour a little bit late on in this video. Uh, the actual vertical one, the horizontal shafts that used to go between these spillways, um, that one that they had the form in place on, I didn't see them pour that, but that was a very small amount of concrete that it would have taken to fill in that area. And those are only being poured uh, full to kind of fill in that void where the catwalks used to span between these spillways. I mean, you used to be able to walk right inside of those hollowed out spillways. The new concrete weir spillways will be completely solid though. So those aren't really needed anymore. Um, and you might as well just fill them full because they're just another spot for them to go ahead and ice up. I'm gonna keep climbing with the drone in altitude. We're gonna go all the way up to 400 feet, see what things look like from way up here, as I usually do. And then we'll take a look up the Tobacco River, maybe swing over to the Edenville side. At the time of me doing this voiceover right now, there is a ton of progress happening down there on Sanford Dam. They just got done assembling uh, the crane. I think it's another 150 ton crane, just like the one here on the Tobacco River Dam. So that is really exciting to see the progress happening down there. Great shot up to the north. We can see the Tobacco River and how froze up it is. Looks like there's a couple thin areas or at least more clear ice up there. Uh, this area over here in front of Strikers Marina where all that sand was pulled from and the clay was pulled from to armor the earthen embankment that is right here in the center of the screen. And then the river over there near the top of the screen is the Titabuasi River that flows over through the Edenville Dam. I'm going to keep dropping in altitude now and we can see a little bit of water that is flowing through the Tobacco River Dam now and it's not iced up uh, downriver from here. It actually must be moving pretty swiftly that it's keeping that area open. And keep an eye on right here in front of the dam. You can see those couple black spots. There was three geese sitting right here in front of the dam. And I actually didn't see them when I was out there filming in person uh, with the GoPro. But when I went ahead and flew the drone, they were pretty easy to pick out. And I was pretty surprised that they were kind of just chilling right here in the open water right in front of the dam. I guess when there is this much ice and the river froze up, uh, they're finding a hard time finding some open water. So this is what was available. So that's what they're going to go ahead and use. And uh, yeah, probably only about 30 feet in altitude above the ice now. We'll come in and take a little bit closer look as to uh, what's going on here at the Tobacco River Dam. I do want to mention though, if people are interested in seeing some more dirt moving, there's no dirt moving on this video, but make sure you go ahead and check out my other YouTube channel. We're in the process of building our house right now and actually they are digging the pond at our house right now. So there is a ton of dirt moving going on, a lot of fill being brought in around the house, and it was pretty cool seeing them dig a 25 foot deep pond. So back to the Tobacco River Dam, you can see they have, uh, almost looks like an ice eater right here in front of the Coffer Dam, probably trying to keep that ice from forming, but it was so cold out there. Then in this area over here on the left hand side where that water is not moving, uh, as swiftly, uh, it definitely did freeze up there. And over here on the right hand side, we can see the water that is still open and that's moving at a, a pretty good pace there. Uh, the current is pretty strong that that ice doesn't have a chance to really freeze up. They also have one of these ice eaters right here where the geese are sitting though. Um, and that's keeping that area ice free in front of the dam along the retaining wall. A little bit more on that side. We can see the concrete truck is here now. They've already did a couple pours with the concrete bucket into the shaft way. You can see the crane operator going ahead, flying the bucket back out here again for the concrete truck to fill back up again. As soon as the bucket gets back down here, I'm gonna head up to the top of the earthen embankment and see if we can go ahead and watch them dump in this next load from the bucket. Going to jump back into some of the drone video now. We can see that bulkhead uh, right in the middle of the screen that is still in place. They have it all tarped up, trying to keep it nice and warm so that that concrete sets up. Although, you know, concrete does create its own heat as it is setting up. But we can see the crane in the background. This is a 150 ton crane. 
uh, very similar to the one that they just went ahead and assembled at Sanford today. I'm guessing uh, tomorrow they will probably be removing the Tanner gates off of Sanford Dam. I'm going to be back out there again filming next week, and I'm going to film at all the dams again next week. I'm going to film at Sanford, Edenville, and the Tobacco River. I do need to get back up to Secord and Smallwood Dam as well, uh, show what's going on up there. But yeah, down there at Sanford, I'm guessing those Tanner gates are going to be removed by the next time I get out there, and then they will be going ahead and working on the spillway, doing something very similar uh, to what they did here at the Tobacco River Dam, um, lowering the spillway height a little bit and pouring some new concrete weir spillways and then they can redirect that water flow back over the top of the dam, just like at Edenville Dam. And then they can go back ahead and fill in that earthen embankment. Um, that'll be one step closer to restoring the lakes. A lot of people wonder, well, why redirect the water flow back through the dam when the dams need to be worked on in the first place? Right now, all these projects are just about stabilization. So stabilizing the river path and uh, trying to stop this erosion from happening. The next phase will be construction phase. That is when these dams will be rebuilt, uh, gates added back onto the top of these, and then the lakes will be allowed to refill. That's why we're not seeing a whole lot of work happening up at Secord and Smallwood Dam right now. Those dams have already went through the stabilization phase and don't really have any concerns uh, with regards to erosion happening up there. Once we get into the construction phase, all five of these dams will be worked on uh, equally and you can see the timelines I might actually post them up on the screen right now as to when each lake should be allowed to be able to be refilled at least right now with the current construction uh, that is planned in the coming years also right now up at Secord and Smallwood Dam they're doing a whole heck of a lot of engineering uh, there's a ton of people involved with this we have a lot of involvement from Fisher Contracting actually on the ground doing the physical work but we have Spicer Engineering also doing a lot of uh, the engineering type work. We'll go ahead with the drone now. I'm probably about 50 feet above the earthen embankment here. You can see they just went ahead and filled this one yard concrete bucket uh, with the concrete from the cement truck. I know uh, a few people holler at me for saying cement truck. That's always what I called it though you might be able to just call it concrete trucks that's probably the proper term for it but we'll come up a little bit closer and we can watch the guys go ahead and start opening up uh, the valve on the bottom of this concrete bucket and actually right after this drone video I will show you what this looks like on the ground I ran back up there with my GoPro and got some on the ground footage of this concrete being dumped into the shaft to fill it the rest of the way so this shaft was used to access the interior of these spillways when they used to be solid and then the catwalks would span between these spillways. It is no longer needed. Just got to the top of the earthen embankment. You can see the bucket is already full. Now they're going ahead, flying it in and going to dump it in the shaft. down the shaft, filling it in a little at a time. Jumping back to the last little bit of drone video here, you can see the concrete just starting to come out of the one yard concrete bucket filling up that shaft. And yeah, as I was saying, uh, the shaft is no longer needed because the new weir type spillways will be completely solid. So you won't be able to walk inside of these spillways any longer as the old ones used to be hollow. This camera you might be able to see is right here on this pole in front of the drone. I wish my camera uh, I was able to move my one at the Tobacco River Dam 
to this location. Maybe in the future, it may be possible because this would be a great view over the top of the dam here. Um, but I'm definitely happy that the one down there at Sanford Dam is located directly on the powerhouse. It's giving us some great views, um, better views than I've ever had with any of the other cameras. And we are getting really close to having one up there on Secord Dam. We almost have enough money raised. Hopefully when we get the funds raised for that one, uh, it would be nice to put that one on the powerhouse as well to get a, a great view of the work that's going on there. Um, but if not, I do have a backup option. We can always use the uh, tower that is located at the firehouse. That's about probably about 100 feet up in the air. So it's a pretty tall tower and we'll be able to see all the way to the dams really easily. Uh, concrete bucket is now empty. So crane operator is going ahead and flying that back over here to the concrete truck. And then he'll go ahead, fill it back up and just keep repeating the process until that shaft is completely full. I didn't stay out there until that was all done, but after they went ahead and filled up uh, that vertical shaft, then they went ahead and poured the horizontal shaft where that other form was in place. See, it looks like they pulled the pontoon out of the water and uh, put it back here behind the earthen embankment here on the Tobacco River Dam as well. And also on site, uh, we can see a lot of those bulkheads are also located back here. Uh, behind the earthen embankment. I'm not sure what's going on current day as I'm filming this voiceover at the Tobacco River Dam. Uh, I'm guessing the sister wall has been uh, completely poured. They are probably removing the stop logs from all the spillways so that that water can flow back through all three bays on the Tobacco River Dam. And then I'm sure they probably removed this coffer dam as well. It'll be exciting to get back out there again this week and, and see the progress that has happened. If anyone is interested in the equipment I'm using, make sure you check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description down below. It's a great way to also help out the channel is if you click those links and purchase anything from Amazon, they kick a small portion of the funds uh, back to the channel. I'm going to end this video by letting a little bit of this raw video footage continue to play through. Um, but as always, make sure you guys are sharing this video wherever you can. Uh, keep the word out there as to what's going on here. It's not every day that dams are rebuilt. Uh, it's actually very rare nowadays. So to see these dams rebuilt in the coming years will be an amazing and historic feat to see. The key work that people have seen this summer was uh, the completion of the, uh, the start and finish of the um, Edenville stabilization process on the progress on the tobacco side. Um, that's about a $4.5 million invested. Most of that was funded through NRCS and the state. Uh, as you can see on the on the dam structure, um, stabilization on some of the embankment, but primarily the removal of the spillways. Um, and that will, if you look at those areas, that will uh, be where the new spillways go. And so you've seen they've been lowered down. Uh, you can see the water on the middle picture on the uh, west side of the um, dam. Uh, we're now um, finishing this, what they call the sister wall on the right side, and that whole area will be lowered down, and the, the river will basically be running at the l level of the river bank, and that will be positioned to uh, work on restoration. You can, if if you see the term sister wall, you can see it on the, middle picture on the left wall of the of the dam there a replacement of concrete and that's to shore up the strength of that as you move the spillways away you need more concrete to balance against the embankment that same thing is occurring you can see in the far right picture in progress uh, pretty close to being completed um, and then just some finish up work that will be done um, through the spring and getting in and summer but that's uh, pretty much getting close to being done. On Edenville Dam, we we'll break it into two categories, the Tobacco River side and the Titabwasi River side. Uh, of course, on the Tobacco River side, um, shortly after the dam failure, Eagle came in with an emergency order and um, executed with, with um, AECOM and Fisher Contracting, the lowering of the tobacco side of Wixom Lake. Um, this was for dam safety, there was still um, significant head on the dam and, and 
the dam needs repairs. Since then, um, Four Lakes Task Force has um, taken over for Eagle to finish up the repairs on the tobacco side, which primarily include um, removal of the rollway, partial removal of the rollway, and um, construction of sister walls. Uh, the partial removal of the rollway, uh, again, um, this is to take out the, um, the upper portions of the spillway, and then the sister wall is for structural support of the training walls. And then we're expecting that work to be complete in 2021. And then we're gonna look at installing a safety, boat safety boom in, by the summer of 2022. On the Edenville Dam, uh, Titabwasi side, uh, Eagle has issued an emergency permit for these four items, being the removal of the rollway or the con concrete spillway, that has been completed. Um, removal of the sediment in the Titabwasi River downstream of the dam, that has been completed. Uh, installation of a, a berm across the breachway, um, we expect that to be complete in winter of 2021. And then stabilization of the embankment. When, when you cross M30 and you look to the east, you see uh, the embankment or the, the earthen part of the dam eroded and that will be stabilized and completed in summer 2022. On the Sanford Dam, we're also moving forward with interim repairs. Currently, we're in the engineering and uh, design and permitting phase. We do have our uh, permit applications in with Eagle. They're being reviewed and we're expecting to start construction on the Sanford Dam interim repairs in the fall of 2021. We've got some example pictures here. Um, the first one is on the tobacco side of the Edenville Dam. Uh, on the very left picture, uh, you can see this was the, the opening in the dam that um, Eagle had put in where the lower portions of the rollway were cut and the water was allowed to flow through at a lower elevation. Uh, in the middle picture, uh, you can see progress on the current um, Four Lakes project to remove the rollways. And then on the far right picture, uh, you can see that two of the rollways um, to date have been removed, and that's a pretty current photo. Uh, in addition to removing the rollways, um, we're constructing a, a sister wall. And what this does is it um, increases the thickness of the concrete on the uh, existing training wall and provides structural stability for the training wall. You can see, you can see the um, the forms and the uh, new concrete that's being poured. Right now, that's on the right embankment. Uh, we're approaching completion on the right embankment, and um, we'll shortly be switching over to uh, construct the same kind of sister wall on on the left left train. I said embankment on the right training wall. Now we're switching over to the left training wall. Um, there are some components that have been started on this, mostly development of design criteria and data collection. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole sequence of events. Again, they're very similar to the upper dams. The key milestones here is um, we're looking to um, start construction in quarter one of 2024 and construction would extend through 2025 and into 2026. Um, another um, key component of the Edenville and Sanford Dam restoration is um, the um, nat natural resources and ecosystem study that I had mentioned early on, and that, that process is ongoing. We're meeting regularly with DNR, Fish and Wildlife, and other stakeholders. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below. As always, I just want to give a massive thanks to the people who support me on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of your contribution to keeping this channel going. Thank you.